we are again. I'm Finny Fogg, and I'm with my friends Jenny and Hoppy. We're at a stop-off on our around-the-world balloon flight. We're at a fishing village on the east coast of Japan. Okay, we fly around the fishing town of Sajima. Let's compare notes about the school kids. Well, here's some boys leaving for school. Those yellow caps and bags for their books are like a uniform. Due to the rain and ocean winds, the caps are almost necessary. Besides, they can be spotted easily. Here the children must walk a ways to catch the school bus. A walk in the country. Hey, that's nice. That's typical of all kids waiting for the school bus. Looks like a scene back home. A pass must be presented before boarding the bus. The buses are modern. But usually crowded. That's true. The children really must like school. Look at the rush to get off the bus. They do enjoy school. Their classrooms are very much like ours. The bulletin boards, chalkboards, and even the two-place desks are just like home. I notice the classes are co-educational, boys and girls. <laughs> yes, they are. The children are well-mannered, and they try very hard to succeed at their lessons. Well, the teacher looks friendly. Jokes are enjoyed mutually, and yet they do stick to the business of learning. This second floor room has a fantastic view. There is the Pacific Ocean and Little Sajima Harbor Village. Books and other school materials are all provided by the government. Students attend school five and a half days a week until noon on Saturday. I notice the teacher is given an arithmetic lesson. They're using seven numbers in both multiplication and long division. That's not very easy, but class is enthusiastic. Oh boy, food time! All children are served a hot lunch at school. No one brings their lunch. The government provides the food. Older boys and girls do the serving. Note the cloth table cover. Look at the neat manner in which the caps and bags have been hung and stored. The teacher usually eats with her class. That's nice. It all contributes to a healthy, relaxed relationship. After lunch, and it's back to class. This time, an art class. Children experiment with all art mediums. Paint, chalk, crayon, pencil, and so forth. Representatives from all the different classes meet to discuss problems pertaining to the school as a whole. Much like our student council meetings. The events of the meetings are being taped so that the representatives can play it for their classes. That looks like a school nurse. Yes, the school nurse performs her function again in the same manner as ours do. Last minute homework assignments are given. Chimes ring and the school day is about over. They better hurry home. See, it's starting to rain. Not all go home right away. Some children may visit shops after school. This boy might be looking to see if the fishing boats are heading home yet. Or they might just observe the countryside. Farmlands near fishing villages are rare. They grow very few of their own crops. I understand the boys have extra leisure time, as they are excused from their dinner preparations. Yes, home responsibilities are delegated to girls. Well, later on, the boys are destined to take their part in the fishing ways of the village when they become adults. They sure keep the streets neat. Oh, yes, they take pride in their cleanliness. And sports, too. The American game of baseball is very popular with the boys after school. But others find the shoreline still holds the major interest. I guess there's a lot to learn from watching the older men at work. Just getting acquainted with the ways of the sea. This fellow is trying out his own fishing skill. Sometimes the boys get to help with the boats. This fellow has been asked to help with the pulling of the anchor. That's fun. As the older men head for their homes for the evening meal, the boys head for home too. Mother and older sisters have prepared the dinner, but this boy can hardly wait. The family dinner is a social time. Everyone shares their adventures of the day as they eat their dinner of many different dishes. And they're using the traditional chopsticks. After dinner, 
A friend calls on the telephone with a question about their homework. Seem familiar, Jenny? Yes, kind of. The homework desk might be one of ours, except that it's quite short. Yeah, you'll have to sit on the floor. These Japanese people are really conscious of health habits and cleanliness. The nightly bathing ritual is done happily. No modern aspects of bathroom. At bedtime, a slim mattress, several blankets, are placed over a soji mat on the very clean floor. You know, there is nothing like your very own bed. If they're like me, one's last thoughts of the night are those of school tomorrow. It's a good feeling knowing that homework is done. How true, how true. It's balloon time. We better take off. It was fun visiting the fishing village of Sajima, Japan. Well, I got a lot of pictures, so let's go. Sayonara, Sajima. Goodbye. So long.